Hello everyone, this is Malka Asad, a plastic surgery resident, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to perform statistical analysis using the JMP platform. Before we dive in this tutorial, make sure to check out my statistics course in which I explain the details on how to perform statistical analysis independently, starting from the descriptive analysis, going into the more complicated regression analysis. The course will have recorded videos, over 100 quizzes and assignments, monthly live webinars, and certificate at the end of the course. And now let's start with the tutorial. The first thing that you need to do is to import your data into the statistical software. And in order to do that, you go on this folder here, open, and then pick the Excel file that you would like to import. I will leave the link for one of these Excel files so you can practice with this data as well. So let's pick smoking here and click OK. And you would have your data open now. The first thing that you need to make sure of is the coding of the data. Is your data coded correctly? In statistics, there are two main types of data. The categorical data, when you have groups such as yes, no, smoking, no smoking, lung cancer, no lung cancer. Here in radiation, we have three groups. So it's categorical variables because we have groups. The other type of variables is continuous data or numeric data. For example, age has no groups in this case. It has numbers, so it would be a continuous variable. So you need to make sure that jump recognize each variable correctly. So these, here you can see the blue sign. So they are not coded correctly because this is the sign for a numeric variable. So you right click here and make it nominal. So now you see this red sign. That means it's uh, considered by the software as a categorical variable and this is coded correctly. And now we can start our analysis. The first thing that you need to do is describe your data. The percentages, the counts, the mean, median. In order to do that, you go to this distribution option here, click on that and pick all your variables and put them under the Y column. Just click on Y columns, click OK, and you would see the descriptive analysis for your data. The first thing is smoking here. We have two groups, zero and one. You can see the counts in each group and the percentage. The same for lung cancer, radiation, we have three groups here. Age is a continuous variable. So we don't have counts and percentages as categorical variables, but we have median, interquartile range, minimum, maximum, mean, standard deviation, these are the ways that we can describe numeric data. But how can you know whether median or mean are the best representation of your data? So there are some criteria that you need to assess before you choose median or mean to present numeric data, and I cover that in details in my statistics course. Now let's go and perform some statistical analysis. So if you wanted to assess the relationship between smoking and lung cancer, which test do you use? The test is a chi-square test. To perform chi-square test in jump, you go to this x by y, fit x by y, and then pick lung cancer under y response, smoking under x factor, and then click OK. Here you would see your two by two table. You would see the count, the percentage out of the total, the percentage out of the column, and the percentage out of the row. If you want the expected values, you can click here on the red triangle and click expected, and you would get the expected values. This is the value of the chi-square test, and if you did not meet the assumptions of the chi-square test, because there are assumptions for this test, you can use the Fisher's exact test, and this is the p-value for that. What if you wanted to compare the mean of a continuous variable between two groups? So if we wanted to compare the mean age between smokers and non-smokers. For that, you need to perform the t-test. To perform the t-test, you go to fit x by y the same way we started, put age under y response, and smoking, which is the groups, under x factor, click OK, and you get this here. Click on the red triangle and click on t-test and this is the p-value for the t-test. However, there are assumptions for this test, for the t-test, and I cover that again in details in my statistics course. But what if you don't meet the assumptions of the t-test, you can perform the non-parametric test, which is the man whitney u test. In order to do that, you go to the red triangle, go to non-parametric, and we'll cox and test, and this is here under the two sample test, this is the p-value for the man whitney test. But the t-test and the man whitney test are used to compare the mean of a continuous variable between two groups. What if you wanted to compare the mean between more than two groups? For example, radiation, we have three groups. Which test can you use to compare the mean of age between the radiation groups? For that, you need the ANOVA test. So you start the same way, fit x by y, put radiation under the x factor and age under the y response and click OK. Then after you get this graph here, go to the red triangle, click on means ANOVA, 
and this is the p-value for the ANOVA test. But again, each statistical test has assumptions that you need to meet in order to perform the ANOVA. So you can't always perform the ANOVA test to compare the mean between different groups. If you don't meet the assumptions of the ANOVA test, you perform the non-parametric version, which is the Kruskal-Wallis test. To do that, go to this red triangle, non-parametric, and click on Wilcoxon test. And here you can see the p-value for the Wilcoxon test. That brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to use the JUMP statistical software. If you're interested in learning more about statistical analysis, do some exercises, go in the details of the assumptions, how to analyze data yourself, make sure to check out my statistics course in which I cover that in detail. And I have a 100% refund policy if you're not satisfied with the course. If you have any questions about the course, about this tutorial, any question about statistics, make sure to leave them in the comments below or feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter at Malka Asad or my Facebook page, Malka Asad MD. Thank you everyone so much for watching and see you in future videos.